measures of central tendency on a graphing calculator. We will examine the four measures of central tendency and use the features of the TI-83 and TI-84 series of calculators to calculate them. These four measures are mean, median, mode, and range. The mean is the average of a list of values. The median is the value in the middle between the highest and the lowest. The mode is the most frequently occurring value, and the range is the difference of the highest value and the lowest value. Why do we do it this way? Calculating mean, median, mode, and range is real easy. Why do we need to make it more difficult by entering all this in stat, etc.? Two things. First, it helps us to avoid mistakes in calculations when we do it this way. Secondly, we can use the data stored in lists to do more than mean, median, mode, and range if we want to. We need to start with a list of numbers, and here is a data set in roster notation. We enter these data in our calculator by first pressing the STAT key, then we choose EDIT by pressing ENTER. Next we enter in each number in L1. To enter the numbers, just type them in, then press ENTER. Continue and enter all numbers on the list. Note that only the last six numbers on the list are visible here. To see the numbers at the top of the list, we can scroll up with the up arrow key. The next thing we do is get back to our home screen by pressing second. We see the up arrow in the corner of the screen. Then press the mode key right next to it that has quit above it. We go to the list menu by pressing second, then the stat key that has list above the key. Now arrow twice to the right to get to the math submenu. Scroll down twice to access mean. Press enter. Now we put L1 here by pressing second, then the one key that has L1 above it. Press the closing parentheses, and finally press enter. We see that the mean or average of this list is 79.5. To find the median, we start out just like we did to find the mean by pressing second. Then we press the stat key, accessing the list menu. Scroll twice to the right with the arrow to get to the math submenu. Scroll down with the down arrow to number four, median. Press enter. This time we'll access L1 another way. Press second. Then press stat for the list menu again. Note that we are in the Names submenu with L1 through L6 as visible name choices. Note that L1 is highlighted here. Press Enter. Observe how L1 is in the proper place. Enter the closing parentheses. Press Enter. Note that the median of this list is 80. The mode is a measure that isn't directly stated in the Math submenu of the List menu, however, you can use the STAT menu to make the mode easier to find. Press STAT, arrow down once to get to sort A, press ENTER. Enter L1 by pressing SECOND, then access the list menu by pressing the STAT key, press ENTER. We see L1 in the proper place. Close parentheses, press ENTER. Now press STAT, press ENTER. You should notice that all the list values have been sorted in sequential order from least to the greatest. If you scroll all the way down and up again, it's easier to see the numbers that are the same since they're all in sequence now. 73 is the mode, the value occurring most frequently. Now for the final measure of central tendency, it can be done here by taking the highest number minus the lowest number in this sorted list. But we can use the math sub submenu of final time, which we access by pressing the second key, then the mode key next to it that gives us quit. Go to the list menu by pressing second, then stat, which gives us the list menu. Scroll two places to the right to the math submenu. Arrow down once to max. Press enter. Now enter L1 by pressing second, then STAT for list again. Choose L1 by pressing enter. Now enter the closing parentheses. 
We've entered the maximum value for L1, and to find the range, we need to subtract the minimum value, so we press the minus sign, and that's not the negative sign at the, at the bottom of the keypad. Now to enter the minimum of L1, we press second, then the stat key to get to the list menu, arrow twice to the right, note that min is now highlighted. Press enter. Now enter L1 by pressing second, then stat for the list menu. Note that L1 is already highlighted. Press enter. Press the closing parentheses. Note that we have the expression of the maximum value of the list minus the minimum value of the list. That should be the range. Press enter. We see that the range of this list is 30, the difference between the highest and the lowest. This has been Measures of Central Tendency on a Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.